Now, cancer survivor is biking his way through Florida to bring awareness to bone marrow donation. Bob Falkenberg is a volunteer for Be The Match. He says he wants to help others going through what he went through. CBS 4's Carly Barnett joins us now from Jackson Memorial Hospital, where they made a stop this afternoon. Carly? Well, Lauren Elliott, he was joined on that ride today by a pediatric oncologist here at Jackson. And they say they want to inspire other people going through cancer treatment to keep on going and inspire people to be the match themselves. Bob Falkenberg is on quite the journey. Started in uh, Jacksonville at Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville. And this is day seven of the trip. And we've got three more days left to get to Key West. He's biking 600 miles to raise awareness and funding for bone marrow donation. For him, it's personal. 13 years ago, I was diagnosed with a very aggressive form of leukemia. Bob needed a bone marrow transplant and after months of chemo, got a match. You assess your life when you're going facing odds like that where you got less than a 50-50 chance of making it. So I made a commitment right then that if I lived through it, I would uh, spend a great deal of my time, as much as I can, trying to help people out. And he's been able to do that through By the Mile benefiting Be the Match. From Colorado, he's visiting as many transplant centers as possible by bike. Visiting Jackson Memorial Hospital, he learned about their participation in the Dolphins Challenge Cancer event. We need, we need to get these folks involved. Dr. Edward Delaziga, who specializes in stem cell transplant, was one of them. Some parents have to leave their jobs. They go through a lot of social economic issues. And uh, if I can ride a few miles, um, have a few body aches, and raise some money for them, I think I want to do that. Going the extra mile, literally, for his patients. I have been sp sponsored today by three more than three families um, who um, I took care of uh, in our center. And today we've raised over $20,000. Pretty incredible there, and they say one of the messages that they want to get out is for people to register, particularly people who are African American, Latino American, or Asian American, because they say those communities are traditionally underrepresented on the registry. And we have more information on all of this on our website, cbsmiami.com. But for now, live at Jackson Memorial Hospital, Carly Barnett, CBS4 News. Such a worthy cause. Carly, thank you.